Hi everybody, I heard you miss me. I'm back. <laughs> um, th again, thank you for all the likes, subscribes, nice comments, uh, personal messages. It really means a lot to me. Um, I, I do this as a hobby. I'm not making any money off this. I mean, just being honest with you. It's just, I love to teach people how to play, play guitar, and if I can help you out, that's great. Well, I got a comment from Marty from Champaign, Illinois. And he likes my acoustic sound. Uh, you know, he asked me, you know, what I did to get the sound. Well, this guitar was given to me by a friend. His name is Mike Bata. Just out of the pureness, you know, goodness of his heart, he gave it to me as a gift. Um, so I, it's, a, it's a treasured, you know, instrument for me. The main thing to my sound is my strings. Um, a lot of guitar players you on their acoustic guitars use bronze um, wound strings they go dead within a week okay so what I use I'm giving you guys a plug here Adamus I use, um, use the light gauge they're very nice strings and that's what get, gives me the ring and everything on my acoustic guitar <clears throat> so Marty also asked would I teach the intro to Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin. Okay? Not a problem. Um, breaking it down for you. You're basically playing two chords, G and D, back and forth. There's some other things that are going to be added in. And I'll, you know, go, I'll show you how to play those as, as we get to them. But the main thing is G and D. Now, on a G, you can play it two different ways. You can play it like this, where you just use your uh, third finger on the first string, or you can play it the way I like to play it, which is doubling up down here. Instead of having the B, you're adding another D. And it just, here's the difference. I just think it fills it up and makes it sound better. But that you know, that's my personal preference. You play it however you want to play it. Okay, so getting into this, we have a series of hammer-ons and pull-offs to start off with on the third and fourth string. So on the second fret, on the third string. That's on the fourth string. Second or third and fourth. Fourth string, fourth fret. Back to the open, third string, which is a G. Then the chord. Okay. That's on the third string. Pull off. Fifth and fourth. Hammer on the second fret on the fifth. Second on the fourth. Open. G bass note. Chord. Now here's where it gets a little difficult. Using Basically, this is a C, but we're adding the bottom of G. I've, I've played this in many videos before. Just do this. Change the B bass note. Now, this is a hard chord. Your uh, on, first finger is in the on the fifth string in the first fret. Your third finger is on the fourth string in the third fret. Uh, your th um, third string is open. And your pinky is on the second string in the, th in the third fret. Slide it up two frets. Okay. That's a hard chord to get. So we're...
switch is to the 12-string on the recording, but I don't have a 12-string. That's the correct way is you do the hammer on on the on the fifth string to the second fret then second or fourth string second fret pull off to the open chord now this is a D chord that you're sliding up to the ninth fret okay which makes it a G a, I'm so, yeah, an A, I'm sorry. Down to the G. Okay. So go over it one more time. I'm I'm gonna tr gonna try to play it at speed. All right. actually kicks in and he goes electric. Um it's a G B E A G. Okay. Grillin, I'm not gonna go over that part because you just asked for the intro. So I hope that helps you out. Um if you have any questions, you know please message me, let me know. I'll uh try to explain things further. Um thank you again for all the likes. Subscribe to my channel. Every little bit helps. Um uh, eventually, I'm going to start putting beginner guitar lessons on here. But right now, I'm just kind of kind of going over the stuff for, you know, people that are playing guitar that are getting kind of hung up here and there. So, all right. Thank you very much and have a great day.